Welcome to Ashley Marie. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the second episode of Halloween Baking Championship. Oh, I made it to week three. I'm so excited. Anyway, today I am making, uh, recreating the final challenge piece, which was this uh, blood orange tart with a seven minute icing and chard. Let's get started. Time to make our crust. Now this is a pâte sucre, which means it's a uh, sweet crust, but it's not like the traditional American pastry crust. We're actually gonna make it entirely in the food processor. So I have my butter that I have already cut up into blocks and cubes, and this is cold. I have just a little bit of shortening, and that kinda helps hold the whole thing together. Then I have some flour, and of course, pâte sucre needs sugar. All right, put our lid on, put it into place, turn it on. So you can see it's kind of crumbly. That's exactly how we want it. It's perfect. Now we need to bring the whole thing together with a little bit of liquid. I'm gonna turn it on and pour in some whipping cream. All right, to turn it out onto your surface. And we just kind of want to bring it together, bring all the moist and the not most dry stuff. See how it's coming together really nicely. Almost done. Now we're gonna refrigerate this for 15 minutes. If you're in a hurry, you can put it in the freezer for about eight, but don't do what I did and leave it in there for too long. You wanna be able to roll this out. Now it's time to make the custard. Now in the show, I used blood oranges, oranges, and lemons. Now it's fall and it is not the season for blood oranges. You can always try to go to the store and find some blood orange juice, but I like to use fresh squeezed. So this time I'm using oranges and lemons. Um, but if you happen to have blood oranges, I would highly suggest it because they taste really great. So very first thing we do is we take about a third of a cup of juice. Show, I probably use two blood oranges and one lemon for the zest. We're gonna heat that up. Now, while that's heating up, I'm gonna take three egg yolks and an egg, add some sugar to it. And I'm gonna mix these together. Pop all the egg yolks, pop, pop, pop. Now, this is kind of how you make any custard. You start with the wet ingredients simmering and getting hot over here. And then you mix the eggs and the sugar together. And once our liquid is hot, we're gonna temper it with our eggs. All right, so our eggs and sugar are nicely mixed up. Now, if we just pour the eggs right into this hot liquid, it would actually like cook the eggs and we don't want that. So that's why, that's where we're gonna take some of this hot liquid and pour it into our eggs while we're beating it. And that's gonna introduce that heat to our eggs. So now we've introduced the hot liquid to the eggs and now we're going to pour the eggs into our hot liquid completely. Now what we're gonna do is heat that up at a lower temperature until it reaches 170 degrees. Now, if you have bad luck getting this to thicken, one of the things that you can do is add a little bit of cornstarch. It's not the proper way, but it will help thicken it up. Now, you can see this is thickened up really quickly and really nicely. Turn that off. Holy moly. This has gone fast. We want to cool this as quickly as we can. So we're gonna pour it, pour it into another bowl. We don't wanna keep it in the saucepan because that's gonna keep it too hot. Whew. And now to help cool it down quickly, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna add some sour cream. 
and just stir those until the butter is melted and the sour cream is incorporated. We're gonna stick it in the fridge, but if we put it in the fridge like this, it would get a crust on it. So what we wanna do is take some plastic wrap and not just cover it, because then it would still get a crust on it. You actually want to press this down so that it's actually touching the top. Now it's time to roll our tart crust out. It's nice and chilled. So one of the secrets to rolling doughs out is rather than sprinkle it with a ton of flour and then you get that like uncooked flour or unmixed in flour taste on your stuff, just put parchment paper below, parchment paper above, and roll it out that way. And it keeps you from adding a bunch of dough, but it also allows it to roll out without getting super sticky. So look how easily that comes off. Look how nice it looks. It is great. The great thing about uh, this crust is it's actually very forgiving. You don't have to roll it out perfectly. You can actually uh, kind of press it into place pretty nicely. Like I'm getting a little bit uh, shallow over here. So I'm just gonna take a thin piece and kind of just press it into place. This corner's looking a little bit bare. I just go around, fill it in. And once you're happy and you feel like it's pressed into place really well, just take a really sharp knife and I'm just going to hold it flat and cut away the extra. Our excess is all cut off. You can see we have a nice uh, smooth top. You can kind of brush away anything extra. Now we're going to put it back in the fridge for 30 minutes just to help it hold its shape. It's time to make the topping, our icing. It's called a seven minute icing or American meringue, or also I call it marshmallow frosting because that's what it tastes like, a nice marshmallow fluff. So to get started, you wanna take us uh, egg whites, and we're gonna put it over a double broiler fashion. So this metal bowl over boiling water. We're going to add sugar. We're going to add some water and some corn syrup. And then we're gonna whisk it. Now the corn syrup takes a while to come out, so. and we're gonna keep whisking it until it reaches 160 degrees, and that's gonna take mm, about four minutes. You don't wanna stop whisking it though because that's gonna then burn your eggs, and nobody wants scrambled eggs instead of frosting. We want frosting, so get, get a candy thermometer, put it on the side of your bowl, get it down in there deep, and just whisk away. One of the things that you can do is actually take a bowl of ice, and put your meringue in it. Can I settle it down in there? And that will help it cool faster. We're also gonna add our vanilla now. All right, perfect. Now it's time to construct our tart. Yay! Okay, so we have our orange citrus sour cream curd. All right, that we left covered. And so, because we left that plastic wrap right on top, you can see that there's no skin. All right. Now, on the show, I put blackberries uh, inside the curd, but the judges didn't really like it. They thought it took away from all the other flavors, so. I'm just gonna drizzle on the berry coulis so that when you cut into it, you get a little bit of blood. Or take our piping bag, fill it with some of this seven minute meringue. Okay. 
and just start piping. I kind of wanted these to look flame-like. That's why I used uh, this tip in this bag and why, rather than just frost it, why I created these um, cones. And now for the chard. Get a brulee torch of some kind. And just have fun with this. Because these are, um, this frosting is like a marshmallow frosting, these will just char right up. In fact, it smells like, like toasted marshmallows. It's actually fantastic. <sighs> All right, now that is charred. <laughs> so our tart is done. And now I've made some oh, sugar glass. I'm gonna peel it off. And I'm just gonna break it into larger shards. I tried to pick through and find like the big ones first because I felt like they made a better statement. You know, nice big shard of glass. And then I fill in with smaller ones. All right, on the show, they had these cute little droppers that we could use, and it was great for being really precise, but I don't have cute little droppers, so I'm just gonna try to do this with a spoon. Let's see, get some blood on our glass shards. Just do a little bit at a time. You can always add more later. And we're done. It looks beautiful, much more charred than last time. I hope the judges would be pleased. Maybe I could beat Jason. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have really loved being on the show. Don't forget to tune in next week to Food Network Halloween Baking Championship so you can see episode three. Yay, can't believe I made it on. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right, don't forget to subscribe. I'm remaking everything that I made on the show here on my channel and of course, all other cakes and desserts and recipes. Leave me a comment if there's something that you wanna see. Check down below for all of the recipes that I talked about today. And all right, let's, uh, let's try this tart. Shall we? Okay. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. This is actually the first time I gotta try it. <laughs> it's really good. That um, that orange is just nice and light and refreshing. You know, if you have a blood orange and you can use it, it's gonna be a little bit more of a depth. You're really going to enjoy it. But if you only have plain oranges, it works really well too. The cinnamon icing tastes spectacular, and oh, I seriously love this crust. It's so crunchy, a little bit sweet, not too thick. So give it a try. Let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>